Hey YouTube family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today is story time. Today's story is about a young lady that I was talking to and she needed some real advice. Basically, her and her husband got together. They, they had some talks about what was expected, what she did and did not like, etc. And she found out after they got married that he was basically still doing one of the things that she did not like. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Give me thumbs up if you are loving stories like this and hit the red subscribe button if you have not already. So now, today's story time is focused on a young lady who is now married to her husband. They had a discussion about something that she did not like him doing, which was, um, let's say it was smoking. And now she found out after they got married that he has continued to smoke. And what was my advice that I should give her? So I basically ask her several questions but the very first question that i ask her is is this a deal breaker for you as in are you going to leave your now marriage because he is still smoking her answer was well i can't leave my marriage for smoking okay all right the next question i asked was if you found this out before you got married, would it have been a deal breaker? Absolutely yes, is was her answer. No hesitation. Absolutely yes. But now it's changed because their relationship has changed. But they got married off of her thinking and off of their conversation that he had stopped. So should she end the marriage? Should she continue the marriage? What should she do? I specifically told her she needs to absolutely pray about this situation because no one and nothing is going to get him to stop or get him to even stop lying about it but God. God is the only one that is going to be able to soften his heart to actually want to, to, want to stop, let alone to stop. I know I'm letting that sink in. I'm letting that sink in because really, if she's not willing to walk away at this point because they are now married, there's really nothing that she can do. Everything has to be put in God's hands now. I actually was going to go a different angle on this, but I really have to just keep it right here. She has to go to God and ask God, to soften his heart, to get rid of this. If this is not something that is worth walking away from, for whatever reason, but mainly because now you're husband and wife, now you have to deal with it. You have to basically suck it up. And as I always say, you have to know that you're not going to get 100% from your partner. Yes, it was bad that he lied. Yes, she found out. And I will say that she wasn't even snooping when she found out. Which, as a side note, fellas. Or just people that just be lying in general. Anything that you do in the dark is always going to come to light. So he thought that it was going to go away by lying. Let's just shut her up right now and say, I'm going to stop. Because I want to keep her. He was wrong for that. He was wrong for that. Absolutely a thousand percent wrong for lying about the situation just to keep her. Now, he's really going to have to deal with the wrath that comes from it. Yeah, there's going to be a wrath that's going to come from this. <laughs> Even if she does not leave him, he will feel the pain. He will feel the pain because he decided to lie. 
And basically, he decided to put their relationship in his own hands to say, I know you, I know you're going to stay with me. But she stayed. It was based off of a lie. This, this story actually saddens me. Um, because I was kind of in a situation like this myself. And uh, we, we actually didn't last. We didn't work out. We didn't work out. But it wasn't off of just one thing or several things. But it did start off with him lying to me. And the relationship did not last. And honestly, it was over smoking as well. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I don't like the smell of any type of smoke, whether it's marijuana or whether it's cigarettes, hookah, whatever it is. I'm not a fan of smoke at all. Like I hate when I even smell my neighbor's smoke. So just thinking for me personally, living with somebody, that smoke was never anywhere on the forefront. Long story short, we got together. I found out that he smoked later. And again, it wasn't just the one thing. For, for my own personal relationship, it was several things that I found out that he lied about and just our relationship wasn't right, blah, 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 moved on with life. But now for her relationship, I feel bad for her because I know that she really, 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 really loves this guy. She really wants their relationship to work. And now she has to figure out a way to get past this. I also told her, I don't think that I said this, I also told her that if she decides to stay, she cannot punish him. After she says that she has forgiven him and they've had the talk about it and whatever their solution that they're going to come to, she can't continue to punish him. She can't continue to bring this up. This has to be a part of him that she accepts. Because, again, it goes back to her not getting 100% of what she wants from her mate. Even though he did lie about it. Now she's choosing to stay. She can't punish him because she chose to stay. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Honestly, I really am curious to know what you guys think. Do you think that she would should walk away from her marriage from this? Because that's something serious. Now they, they're not just boyfriend and girlfriend any longer. It's not just her fiance any longer. Should she walk away? Should she stay? I, I personally do not believe that she is stupid for staying. I applaud anybody. In her case, I applaud the woman for trying to fight for her relationship. Oh, she's not happy about the smoking. Like, we're not even going to go there. She's not happy about it. But I applaud her for trying to fight for her relationship to make it work. I applaud her for going to God. I applaud her for hanging in there. Because most people would just throw in the towel, walk away, get an annulment. I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy road for her because this is not something that she wanted. He decided for her. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe if you already have not subscribed. Yeah, just let me know. I'm curious. I want to read these comments. Deuces.